So what's strange to me is I actually started TikTok about a year ago now. Like that year's gone unbelievably quick. But um, mate, it's been such a such a pivotal year. Like it's been so important. So it's a bit odd looking back on it all now, to be honest. Yeah, why did I start it though? It's quite funny why I started it. I started out of a real toxic place. Um, I asked a girl out and got thoroughly rejected. And she was absolutely obsessed with like all these TikTok boys. I didn't get it, I didn't have TikTok at the time. I actually like made fun of people for having TikTok. And so I got TikTok basically to prove to this girl that I was worth something because I felt like I was nothing, literally. Like she rejected me and I was like, wow. And yeah, one day I decided to try the live stream feature um, just to try it out. Like I saw people doing it and I wanted to see what, what, what goes on. And yeah, I literally just sat opposite a camera for about an hour long chatting to comments. I guess as I touched on earlier, like after I got rejected, like really horrible, felt really sad, obviously. Um, I guess that kind of hole that I was feeling was just kind of being, again, slightly satisfied in an unsustainable way. But I loved it. <laughs> so I kept on doing it. Um, over December, I started really like live streaming like every day pretty much for about two hours. It was a fun time and it slowly just began to grow and grow through the live streams. That's kind of where I found my flow a little bit, um, which was <laughs> quite quickly met with just some problems. There were a couple live streams when people came in. Wow, this is actually really emotional. Um, and just commented stuff like, uh, tonight is the night I'm finally gonna commit suicide. Like, there, 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 there's a couple occasions like that. And the live streams, and, and there are points where we just stopped the live stream entirely. Not closed it, but just stopped whatever was going on. And we started um, giving advice and saying that this person is loved. So we'd have like hundreds people or so watching, which is a fairly average amount. And this person would come in and be like, oh, like tonight is the night when it's done. I'm finished, like, I'm sick of this world. And we just had hundreds of people sending support. Um, and then they'd text me afterwards, uh, after the live stream's finished. And there are a few occasions where I genuinely get a text such as like, tonight was so pivotal. If it wasn't for tonight, like, if, you, if I didn't hop on that live stream and have people send over advice and encouragement, I genuinely could not be here at this point. Even now, as we're coming up to, to Christmas, it just reminds me, um, just as I was a light in this very dark place, a light in this, this dark time of the world, we were in a lockdown, but also dark time on TikTok. TikTok's just a generally very dark place. Um, just reminds me of Jesus, literally the Christmas story. This holy light, this big, amazing figure, perfect figure, coming down into this dark world. Why? So that people like me, who are struggling with their self-worth, can find my own worth in Him. That's the reason I'm here. I'm not here to promote myself and get all these cool opportunities, although that's great. Actually, no, the reason I'm really here is to be a light in that dark place. Oh,